In this video, we're going to give a brief introduction to MapReduce in MongoDB. So to do this, we say db.collection.mapreduce, and then we're going to use the map function to emit a key value pair. We'll then use the reduce function to group the documents based on the same key. We'll use the out to be able to specify specifically where the results of this query are displayed. They're either stored in a collection or maybe displayed directly in line. We then can specify the criteria, the sorting, and the limiting as it relates to this particular query. So for example, if I was asked to show the count of customers in Colorado, Florida, or New York, and sort these documents by state in ascending order, then limit the results to the first 10. So what I'd say is db.customer.mapreduce, and then what I do is have as the map function, it's going to look in every address from this query, it will grab the state, and that will become the key. So we have a state that is going to be multiple different states. So we have multiple keys here. So for Colorado, Florida, and New York, we'd have three different keys. And then we're going to count for every time that this is displayed. We're going to then use the reduce to reduce based on the key and the value. So if the key was New York, we'd grab a count and we'd start with a result of zero for that count. Then for every value that there is, we are going to increase the result count by the value count. So the value count was one. So we'll increase the result count by one for every record. So if there are four results in New York, we would then increase these for every single result that comes through till we get the result of four. We would then return the result. Then what I can do is display the results. And there are four different possibilities for this out function. We can do inline. Inline is going to display the results directly back to you in the browser or in the query shell. And Reduce would actually create a new collection and store the results inside that collection. Merge would add any new documents to an existing collection. And Replace would overwrite the collection altogether. Prior to executing these results, we are going to limit our results based on three states. So we're going to say where the state is in, Colorado, Florida, and New York. We are going to additionally sort these results before we do the map reduce in descending order by the state. So we would start with New York and then Florida and then Colorado. And then we're going to just limit 10 records. So 10 records would be returned to us. Okay, so here we are back at the server. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute this query. And we can see that there are three states that are represented here, Colorado, Florida, and New York. We wanted only 10 records, so there must only be eight. So we have four, two, and two. And then we are displaying the results using this inline function. Now watch what happens if I change the limit to five and run this. We have New York represented four times and Florida represented one. So what happened is it grabbed the New York, Florida, and Colorado, sorted by New York in descending order. So New York would become first and then Florida would be next. I limited those to only five results, so it take the four from New York and one of the two from Florida and display those in the result set. So now I want you to try a map reduce function on your own. So this function asks you to show the count of all females in the person collection. So pause this video, try this on your own, and then come back to compare your answer. Okay, so here we're back at the server, so I'm going to go ahead and run this query. So we'll say db.person.mapreduce. And then we'll start our map function and then we'll start a reduce function and then we'll say we want to display the results in line so we'll say out in line and then we'll do one and inside of this we'll have a query where we will look for the gender of female all right so now let's go back to the functions so what we're going to do is we're going to emit and for our key we're going to emit the gender which is going to be this.gender. And then for our value, we're going to do a count. We're going to get the count and increase it by one for that gender. And for the reduce function, I'm going to grab the key and values. I will then set a variable of result, which is going to be equal to the count starting at zero. And then I'm going to loop through each one of the values from my map function using the for each loop. I'll do function and then we'll grab each individual value open a curly bracket and then what I'm going to do is add to the existing result count the value count and then we're going to return the result. I'll go ahead and execute this query and we can see that we have two females that were returned.